Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the Imager in Ozone 8. Now, this is something I've been using for years. Really fun. What this is, is this controls the stereo of your track here. So let's just uh, take away all these bands here. We'll just have one band. Got band one. And what this will do is this will basically increase the side material or decrease the side material. So check this out. Or we can decrease it, so it just kind of goes to mono. You'll notice that this vector scope is here. What this does is this kind of tells you what the stereo image is. And uh, this is the correlation meter here. And this is very important. You kind of don't want it to dip below zero because when you dip below zero, uh, that means that you're getting some phasing issues. You want to be plus one or zero. You want to be in between here. Yeah, it's okay to go a little bit below zero sometimes. But um, yeah, it's bad news bears if you're constantly in the negative one. And you can also see your, uh, your correlation around here. Can you? No, this one. Right, this is your correlation over time, plus one, negative one. You don't want it to go below. So what does this all mean? Okay, let's go back into our uh, spectrum. Oh, I'm sorry, our bands. Let's add the bands back. Right, so we can split this up. So typically, you want your lower end to be mono. It's pretty mono already, but let's just take it the rest of the way. Just because we don't want any wishy-washy on the low end. Right, I'm just going to listen to this one by itself. Right, you notice how we're adding a lot of body and depth by adjusting the width. Remember, less is more. Don't use too much. And uh, band three, what's this one right here? All right, yeah, maybe we can get away with making that pretty stereo. Right, our correlation is still good. We got a good balance here. If we, you know, increase this, sounds weird. We can also stereoize, which is interesting. So that'll delay the left and the right. Which does something uh, that doesn't work a whole lot with the uh, dance music or with what we're doing. But yeah, yeah, it's just a, an excellent way to kind of create the stereo image. Um, I would stick to a vector scope, but pay attention to the correlation. Uh, polar. It's pretty cool. Uh, and this, this will joust. Yeah, I, I keep it on this just because it looks neat. And uh, yeah, we can uh, observe our correlation metering here. And uh, we are in good shape, and we will sound good mono, which we'll check out now. Right. So, yeah, that is the imager. It's easy to go a little bit crazy with this. Um, I would use kind of less... Uh, Maybe, yeah, it, it depends. It depends on your track. Um, you can take this maybe 40 or 50% of the way, and then you can use the post EQ in mid side mode to accentuate the high end further. Or accentuate the, the stereo a bit further. Do it do so subtly. That's why they give you uh, multiple EQs, just so you can do that. But yeah, that is the imager. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.